Hi, welcome to Armrest. My name is Randy Miller, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, install a cabinet door, and it has like a little bevel to it. And um, this is what I'm going to be using today is the Belvian SW150 wood grain. Uh, you can see that all on rmrapstore.com. I'll put the link down below on my YouTube channel. And um, so here we go. So basically what I do is I cut the size, actually I put the door down and you cut it, I usually cut two, three inches away from the sides. And I like using my, uh, my best tool is the bodyguard from the old tools. And it just, it cuts the paper or uh, both paper and vinyl. Uh, it's just, it's one of the, my best tools to use. Another tool I'm gonna be using is called Betty on um, the old tools. And it, it really, uh, it's easier to install the vinyl, uh, less air bubbles, and it's just better to do. Uh, so what I do is I pre-cut everything. I actually, I'm gonna do both sides. Same, same si size of it. And so the first thing I do is I clean it with, uh, with a uh, really good cleaner on this. If you don't have a, the proper cleaner, you can you actually use the rubbing alcohol and water and it cleans it with a lint free rag. All right, these are the steps I'm gonna be taking. So what I like to do is do the back of the door first, overlap the vinyl to right up to here. I know it has a beveled edge, but I, I like to have vinyl on top of vinyl so it makes it stick a lot better. So I'm gonna wrap it here to here. So the first one I'm gonna do is this one right here. So I'm gonna pull the backing down just a little bit so it, just, it gives it a start. I'm gonna crease it. That's down about three inches down, okay? Next thing, I have to make sure the wood grain is going this way, and so this is upwards right here. So I'm gonna do the top part right here first. I'm gonna line it to make sure it overlaps here, 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 and here, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pull it off. I'm gonna use my baggie. You can use any kind of squeegee you want. You can take your time. Okay, so for right here, what I like to do is Use my fingers to, to line them up. Okay, let me, let me show you a close up of this really quick. What I'm gonna do is, okay, how's that look? Okay, I'm gonna use my heat gun. So you see how it's, kind of almost connecting. So I'm gonna let it dance a little bit. Just use your fingers, probably use your fingers. Okay, push it in. Okay, that one's done. Let that cool. Same thing over here. And this is for actually for a customer. They want to do uh, one demonstration to see what it looked like. They want to see what it will look like when uh, just wrapping one door. And if they like it, um, we're going to do a whole hotel of this. Okay. So now it's nice and it's, it's cold and it's dry. Okay. 
Okay, I crisscross that. That's where the, the screws go in. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know, and I, I'll do my best to help you out. And, okay, next thing I do, I flip it around. I do a 45 degree angle cut. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, I do about a 45 degree angle cut right there in all the corners. Okay. And then I just, here, let's see if I can help you. What I do is I lift it up, lift it up. Now, like I said, I like to do vinyl on top of vinyl, and everyone's a little bit different. So I'm just going to loop it in a little bit. Now, a lot of projects every day, uh, if I use a blade every day, I change the blade out as much as possible. Uh, right now, I'm going to do like a 45 degree angle cut. Okay. The reason why you want to do a 45 degree angle cut is when you put the other vinyl on, you won't see that lip. And if your finger can't grab onto it, that's perfect. So there's a little sliver right there. It's just the little details. So next time when you put the vinyl on top of this, it'll go over here, it will, it will stop right here. Okay, let's start to do, I usually do the top top ones first, top and bottoms, because this is actually a, a bottom door. And most people see the bottoms and not the sides. Now I'll show you why. So, of course, this is going to be overlapped. I've got shaved a little bit more off. Because I, I want that to, to touch and that to touch. The more vinyl is to stick on, the better. And this, this surface is pretty smooth. Okay, so this last project, or this last cut, what I'm going to be doing and that's kind of hard. Usually I do it on the, on the side. Here, let me do it on right here. What does I do? I put the knife right here and I go straight up. Let's see if I can do that. There you go. And of course, they're not going to see that because we're going to put the vinyl on top of this. So, But it's, it's, it's good to have it uh, going up. Once again, just double check, no, nothing's grabbing because then you will see, see that little lip right there. Okay. Same thing, make sure it's overlapped. Be careful when you're cutting. I've had a little practice. Now, if you're just doing one side, you don't have to do all this, but uh, we are, I'm gonna actually do it both sides. That's what the customer wants. And this is their door. 
so I'm gonna uh, when I present this to them, they're gonna see everything. Okay, the next thing I do. Oops. If I get everything organized. So you use a little heat to it. What I just focus on is just the the edge edge of the door. It just sinks the vinyl on and also it activates the glue a little bit better on the vinyl. Okay, so that's all nice and tight. So you can see now, let's see if I can show you. <laughs> Oops. This is the back end right here. And if you got any comments or questions, let me know. Uh, now let's do this front end. Let's turn off the thing off. Okay, so. So make sure the vinyl. Now, let's get this this one right here going. So what I do, pull back just a little bit, as you can see, just enough to tack it on. It's about three inches. Same kind of thing. It's best to lay it down so you can actually see what you're overlapping. Also, um, there's grids on here and I'm actually following the grid so it's nice and straight. If you do it the other way, uh, you're, you're guessing basically. Okay. On this one, what I would do, let's start. And this is great um, that the customer uh, gave me these doors to test out because every job and every door is a little bit different. So it's, uh, there you go. A lot of times, like these little edges, it's actually better to use your fingers because you can you can feel everything. And your skin actually is pretty slick. You can't, too bad they can't make a squeegee that has a skin tone or skin texture to it. Actually, I might come up with a project that's like that. Okay, top of doors. So I do top doors first, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overlap it again. But this time, I'm, I'm slowly kind of walking it in. This time I'm gonna overlap it here, there. Now I'm just gonna put my knife on the top of the part and, and try to be careful not to to cut the, the other vinyl. Again, I'm doing a 45 degree angle cut. Actually a 45 this way and a 45 this way. So I, if you wanna call it two 45s. So 45, 45, this actually slices. It, it, instead of going this way, it's a dead slice. This is actually gives it more a slice. Like see, it, just, it goes smooth. Top part, and I'm just double checking everything. Okay. Same thing right here. Overlap it a little bit. Overlap it. 
trying to angle that video or the camera. Okay. So this is, well, I gotta do it right so I'm gonna go this way. Straight up there. I'll, I'll show you a close up videos or part of it. Okay, again, 45 this way, 45 this way and 45 this way. So you just kind of, there you go, it's smooth, just make sure you got So if you got any projects going along, uh, I got how-to videos on how to uh, measure your cabinets, uh, how to install the cabinet doors. Uh, if you got some big projects or commercial stuff, uh, we do travel. I go to Florida quite a lot. Uh, California, I go I'm getting more and more jobs down there. Um, just starting to get more and more stuff going. But if you think you can do this, okay, like I said, 45 down and 45 from your cutting. And sometimes, I just like to be precise, that's all. Okay, last, the final thing. So make sure all the air bubbles are out or let's get a little closer. And when I get done with this, actually I'm gonna every customer I, I work with, especially doing this kind of stuff, I will show them a video. Not of installing it, but saying, hey, this is it. Uh, I'm gonna be sending it your way. And um, tell me what you think. So I'm hitting all the corners, and what it does is just activates the glue a little bit better, like I said before. And it just melts basically into the, into the wood. Okay, we'll be done. This is it right here. So this is the Belvian vinyl. It's SW150. And it looks like a brand new door. And I can change this out and if they get tired of it, the beauty of it, it's quicker to replace. You just pull it off uh, four or five down, years down the road, or actually you can wrap vinyl on top of vinyl, so if they want to change it to a darker color or a metallic color or a custom color, they can actually do this. Um, it takes, I want to say, for this kind of door, it takes a yard of material to do, uh, to be safe. And uh, so if you factor in both sides doors, one yard, and 
You can go to armwrapsstore.com. Let's see if I can actually get you a little close up of if it focuses it's night. See how tight that looks. And uh, like I said, vinyl on top of vinyl, it works great. Okay, here's where the side is. You can barely, let's do a, try to get this good shot. You can barely see that. Most of the people, when they open the doors, they will not see that. But I, it is more of a secure thing. Uh, other than that, I mean, this is, this is where you're gonna get. And it's great, great stuff. You can use regular cleaner with the stuff, but uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you got any comments, comment down below. I saw one comment pop up and I'll answer that comment after I get done with this video. And um, check out my website. And if you have a project uh, you wanna conquer, and if you're having questions, call me 208-696-1180. Or you can email me at rmraps at gmail.com. Other than that, check out my website, rmrapsstore.com. Put the two S's in there. Um, but uh, thank you again. If you like it, subscribe to me. Thanks.